Now, as most 11 rack users know, whenever we embed a rig setting from our 11 rack into a track, usually to recall that embedded rig setting, we can right click on the track and come down to load guitar rig settings. So I'll click that, and of course, it's going to uh, change our rig. We can see here in the editor, see it on the 11 rack as well, but sometimes that context menu does not come up. And there was actually a, a post recently on the duck about this. So that's why I'm addressing it here. I'm not sure if I've ever covered this in a video. So sometimes if you don't see that load guitar rig settings in your right click context menu, we can come over here to our clips list. Okay. And if your clips list is not open, just come down here to the bottom, see this little arrow, click that and it will expand it out for you. So if you're not seeing your right click, uh, context menu, the load guitar rig settings, just come over here to your clips list and you can right click from here as well and load guitar rig settings. Actually, let's go here. We'll load this one because it's different. And again, of course, that's reflected here in our editor, here in our mini window, and of course on our 11 rack. Now in Pro Tools 10 and below, uh, with the embedded 11 rack editor, we used to be able to click in here as well in the editor and, and uh, load those settings. But since this editor has been separated, we can't do that anymore. I just wanted to mention that, you know, if, if you're using Pro Tools 10 or below with the embedded editor, you can also come in here and load your embedded rig settings within your 11 rack editor, not in Pro Tools 11 and higher though. Okay. And really quick, we'll cover for anyone who is not aware, and this is Pro Tools 11, 12 and up. Okay. We'll come to setup, IO, input tab, and this is where you choose where to embed your 11 rack rig settings from the input. So you're probably going to want to choose 11 rig left, right. All right. So that way, whenever you choose any of these inputs, like 11 rig L 11 rig right for your mono tracks or 11 rig left, right for your stereo tracks, you know, that, that's more than likely what the source you'll want to be embedded from, but you can of course change it to any of the other inputs as well. And once you do that and you record, you know, whatever uh, rig you happen to record, you can always right click on your track and load guitar rig settings from here. If that's not showing up, or if you just prefer to use a clips list, you know, you can come over here to your clips list and right click here and load your guitar rig settings. All right, really cool stuff. Really easy, just a quick tip on loading those embedded guitar rig settings for your 11 rack.